Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, I ordered a poly gel kit from the online store Timu today, but I'm gonna be checking out this poly gel kit that I purchased. And one of the reasons why I wanted to try the poly gel kit from Timu, it's because it's another cheap store and I wanted to see what it's all about. So I don't remember exactly what the cost is. I'll go ahead and put it up in the screen. It comes with some nail form, mini lamp, some poly gel, poly gel brush and picker, top and base coat, 100, 180 grit, a buffer, 600, 3000, and it actually arrived damaged, a nail brush, and lastly we have a nail clipper. Um, on the Timu website, I realized that they don't come with slip solution. I thought it did, but apparently not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some alcohol. Anyway, so to remove my nail polish, I am taking some acetone and cotton ball. And by the way, I am using the Professional Nail Polish 100% Pure Acetone. I used to buy the once from Dollar Tree. From, since they were from Dollar Tree, they didn't work quite well. All right, guys, I somewhat removed my red nail polish. I wore regular red nail polish for a change. I know gel nail polish has been popular lately, but I just thought I'd try regular nail polish. Um, but I forgot how red nail polish can be quite messy. So now I'm just pushing back my cuticles. Okay, guys, so I'm actually going to go back with some more acetone i got a q-tip to get those hard to reach areas all right so now i'm going to un unbox the mini nail lamp but this is how it looks like your typical portable mini nail lamp the cable but you're gonna have to get your own wall adapter to connect it so I'm just gonna go ahead and find my nail size okay so this is the size of the nail forms guys what is this shape around the cuticle let me try this one again Okay, these nail shapes are not it. It looks like I'm gonna have to file all the nails. They just don't fit. They're just very wide around the cuticle area. So I went ahead and I filed the nail forms. So now I am going to use my dehydrator and primer. Be applying the base coat I don't believe I mentioned this but the poly gel kit is from Lula And here is the nail brush picker, nothing surprising. And here are the poly gel. I'm going to swatch them. And this is the color. It's just a white color. And 
and this is clear. And here's the clear. It's just very odd that the color here is not what the product or the poly gel color is. All right, let's get started with my nails. I'm taking the coral color. Oh, and by the way, this is a 15 milliliter. It's very small. And so far, this is uh, very easy to work with. So now I'm just going to apply it. Slowly move it down towards the cuticle area. I'm gonna have to clean up a bit. And now just clean the underneath. Now I'm just gonna cure that. Now I'm just gonna pop the dual form right off. Actually, I'm gonna make sure that it's cured. And it actually <laughs> is not cured. Okay guys, so I've been curing my nail for about a minute. It's not curing. Um, as you can see, there's still poly gel underneath that has not been cured. So I'm not sure if it's the nail lamp or the poly gel, the product. So I'm gonna use my nail lamp my own nail lamp and I'm gonna check to see if that's enough to cure this poly gel. Guys, so I went ahead and I removed the drool form in hopes that it would help cure the nail without the plastic on top of it. And then I used my nail lamp for a minute and 30 seconds. The nail is fully cured. I don't think the nail lamp that's included with this set is strong enough to cure this. so. That's already a bummer. So I'm actually now gonna go in with less product and try to see if the nail lamp is able to cure it with little product. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I cured the nail. Surprisingly, it actually fully cured the nail. So maybe I just used too much product in this nail. So now I'm taking the white and I'm going to do a French tip. And I used the nail lamp again and it wasn't enough to cure it. So I went ahead and I used my own nail lamp and I, I'm using very little product so I think it's the nail lamp that's not working. Okay guys, after finishing all of my nails and using the nail lamp, the nail lamp is a no for me. At times it does work and at other times it does not. It's too much of a struggle just to cure some nails. So I went ahead and I used my own nail lamp. So I rubbed some alcohol to remove the tackiness. Now I'm going to trim them up. Now I'm moving on to filing. This is the next day. I had to stop doing my nails yesterday because something came up. I ended up changing the French nail design. I did like a V shape. So here I have pearls. I'm gonna be adding the base coat. And then from here, I'll just add the pearls. Oops. And I should have used top coat actually instead of the base coat. So I'm just gonna carefully go over that. Now I'm applying my cuticle oil. 
right guys and here are my nails so would i recommend this poly gel kit well as long as you're okay with having to hassle with the nail lamp each nail i placed under the nail lamp the results varied it either cured or did not i'm not sure why that is but it's not worth it so yes the poly gel is easy to work with this kit does not contain slip solution. It's my mistake for not checking, but I think as a kit, it should include a slip solution since it is something that's necessary. The base coat, top coat, the files, the brush, and picker, they all work perfectly fine. Oh, and the dual forms, I'll pass on those. <laughs> they are oddly shaped. I filed every dual form for my nail, so those are a no. So that is my review and it comes to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to those who have subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.